talk to you about backdrops in still life photography. When we first start learning still life, it feels like we don't have everything that we need. We don't have the backdrops, the foundations, the, the supporting props, but in fact you can get by with very little while you're learning. And so I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about what I did when I first started. So one of the things that worked well for me was a cardboard science portfolio. It's one of those things that the kids use when they do a science fair project. It's just a piece of cardboard that has a couple of extensions on either side. And I would set that up and I would cover it with a fabric or bulletin board paper or something that would uh, give me a solid background. And it was a very cheap way to go. Uh, the other thing that I used at one point was um, a case of toilet paper. I think it was like a 24 roll toilet paper and I draped some linen over that and I used that for my background. I used a number of different things, things that I had on hand, things that I ne didn't necessarily need to go buy. And I think that's important when you're starting with still life because you want to make sure, first of all, that you are going to enjoy it and want to uh, continue it before you invest a lot of money. And so by using some creative ideas and creative options, you can make things work. Now, I since have a studio and I have a nice backdrop and um, a frame that I can hang different backdrops from and, and it works really well for me. But when I was starting out, I didn't really know if I was going to continue. and you know, it doesn't make sense to invest a lot of money in some of the backgrounds and backdrops that are out there. They're beautiful, but they're expensive. So I encourage you to get creative and, some, and to try some different things for your backgrounds, or backdrops, I should say. Now, the other thing is to keep in mind, particularly when you are photographing food, it's really nice to not have a solid background. Maybe you're in the kitchen and you want to see the stove, you want to see the oven, the sink, whatever it happens to be. It helps tell the story. So it depends on what style, still life, you are working on, whether or not you're going to want a solid background or if you're going to want the environment to be your background, or backdrop, I should say. Um, Background, backdrop, I use those interchangeably, and, uh, but some people call a background also the foundation, so I want to clarify that. Anyway, use your creativity and um, see what you can find to use for a nice uh, backdrop. I thought since I still have the cardboard portfolio, I would show you exactly what it looks like. It's just a huge piece of cardboard that's scored so that it has little wings that allow it to stand up on its own. And I would set this up and cover it with bulletin board paper or fabric and it worked really well for a backdrop for me. Now I don't use it for a backdrop so much but I do use it to block light or to balance light in my images. So give that a try. It, it's not expensive at all and it's very versatile. Before I had studio space, I had the island in my kitchen, and here you can see the cardboard portfolio is the basis for leaning the black paper against for my background. And this is my resulting image. Here's the famous toilet paper covered with linen and I'm shooting Queen Anne's Lace. Clearly I did not have a good grasp of depth of field at that point, but I did end up with a nice flat lay for that shoot. In this one I'm using some uh, wicker chargers, plate chargers as my background, and also the foundation for those orange beets. And here's the result. In this one, I really didn't have a backdrop at all. The netting uh, created the backdrop and I had some flooring from Home Depot for the foundation. And here's that image. Here the environment is the background. 
Again, environment. For this image, I wanted a nice, light, airy, summer uh, image, and so I did not use the backdrops that I had. I used the windows, and here's the result. Well, I hope that's inspired you to look around your house and find some things that would work well for a backdrop. And if you have any questions, please ask. Um, I hope you'll put this to the test and really be creative with uh, some different ideas and things that you find around your house.